Hi everyone, it's Kirchi. For today's Polly Pocket Showcase, I'm gonna be showcasing the Double Play Compacts. There's a Disco Ball one and a Spaceship one, and these are spherical shaped compacts that are called Double Play because there's a two-in-one concept. It's basically like you're opening two compacts in one toy. We are gonna start with a Disco Ball because this one has been intriguing me for quite a while now. This is called Skating Compact. Unfortunately, the packaging here is cracked ripped, which is a shame because I do love the packaging, especially the little hole here. Here is the back, here's the functionality, how it opens up, all the things inside, and this is also a purse. Let's go ahead and open this up. And here it is. This looks so cute and intriguing. I love how it feels in my hands. It's definitely interesting. It kind of looks like the Death Star. The strap is actually fairly short, so for adults, this will probably fall right above your waist. This is the body of this compact. It's supposed to be a disco ball, but it really does look more like the Death Star or some kind of planet. It could use more sparkly elements, although they have some indications that it sparkles. It also has a little bit of glitter on the plastic. This is the latch to open the middle part of the compact. This is actually quite hard to open. There we go, that was a struggle. So here is the middle portion of the compact. It's super pretty and it's actually a lot more glittery in person. On this side we have a music theme. We see roller skates, musical notes, sparkles, and here are musical notes all around here. On the side we have a video game arcade theme. Here's some video game controllers, little toys, teddy bears. Here's a bowling pin and a bowling ball. And we have arrows here. I'm guessing this is to indicate the direction we're supposed to go when we're roller skating. And here is the other side where we can see the double play concept. This kind of looks like a bra, doesn't it? So here is the first compact. And here is the second one. When it's fully opened, it looks like this. We're gonna start on this side. It looks like this is some kind of entertainment rec center. Over here, we have a pool table. There's actually some pretty realistic textures here. You can feel each individual ball. And when you flip it over, we get an air hockey table. Although I wish that they had colored it in, just like the pool table. And on this side, we get a bowling alley. I love this design. It looks so cute and very realistic when it comes to how bowling alleys have these crazy graphics. On the floor, it looks like a throwback to the 90s. We have some of that squiggly pattern. I love the texture here. It looks so fun. The staircase is also really fun. It has some stars on it. And up the staircase, we get to the snack bar. There's a popcorn machine here. We can see the little popcorn inside that is so cute. They look so real. And when you hit the switch, they actually pop. In the middle, we have our friendly cashier. We can also see more snacks in the background. We have burgers, fries, sodies. And this is a little toy machine with the claw where you grab the toy and hope you win one. And up here we have some speakers, so maybe this is where we go dancing or do some karaoke. We did get a lot of accessories that we're gonna attach here later, so there's lots of empty spaces. And on this side, we get the skating rink. This rink spins to make it look like we're skating. Beautiful graphics here, very fun and festive. Nice heart textures all around here too, just to give it more decorative elements. And we have a couple places for the characters to sit. If you're like me, I'm definitely gonna be sitting because I don't know how to skate. And up these stairs, we get to a beautiful stage. This is where we can have a concert, or maybe a celebrity will grace us with their presence and perform here. Some musical note textures here, very pretty. And up here, we have a little jukebox with musical notes coming out. And when we open this, we see a little room where we can get changed. We have costumes so we can wear cute outfits, some roller skates back there. And there's also a sink so we can wash up, put on our makeup, whatever we want to do to look beautiful. Here are our characters, and I'm gonna say it again, I don't know their names, I can't find them on Google, and I still haven't watched the TV show and I don't know if I ever will, so I apologize for not knowing their names, but they are super adorable. I feel like these Polly Pocket characters are getting better and better with each iteration. They are also wearing 
roller skates, which looks super cute. I just wish that each individual wheel was painted to make it look more detailed, but we do see more detail on the print work on their t-shirts, so that's a bonus. The print work on their face has also improved. Her eyes look super pretty. And this is our bag of surprises. This bag also feels very different. It feels more organic, recyclable. I like it. It feels really nice in my hands. If I could describe it, it feels kind of like the Sun Chips packaging. And here are the surprises. We have a purple vanity. On the back side, we have some perfume and other accessories. Here is a DJ booth. We can put the characters in there and have them spin around while they're DJing. An old school arcade game. There's lots of good details here. I can't wait to paint this someday. We also get a locker. And on the inside, we can see some clothes. Here is a boombox, another old school item. I am loving the throwback items on this compact. Here is a cute little dining table and a couple chairs to go with the dining table. A set of bowling pins, two little bowling balls. And we can actually see the holes in them where your fingers go. That is so cute a teeny tiny bucket of popcorn, a tray of food with a hot dog and a soda, a teddy bear, which will be one of our prizes that we win, a tiny pink stool, and a skirt for one of the characters. it is with all the accessories in place. I think it looks so much better, so much fuller. I also think they improved the little pegs because in the other compacts, a lot of these little pieces would fall out easily. But with these, they're nice and snug in there. Here's a little fun activity. We can take one of the bowling balls and roll it down this little chute here. It's very quick, but it slides down and hits the pins. Here's another one. Super cute! Now we are moving on to the spaceship one. This one is called Space Compact. Same packaging. I love these holes. I just think they're very eye-catching. Here is a preview of the inside. Also a preview of the surprises. And now let's open it up. This one looks super, super cute. I really love the exterior. And it kind of reminds me of the Jewel Magic Ball because the top part over here is a clear round plastic. The exterior definitely looks a lot more interesting than the disco ball one. We do have more detail here that definitely makes it look like a spaceship. Nice textures here to indicate metal or whatever a spaceship is supposed to be made out of. I love that this looks like a planet inside, maybe the moon. And here are some planetary decorations. Even the bottom has some cute planet decor to it. Overall, I really love this. And it's pink and purple, my favorite color combination. This one is a lot easier to open, so here is the middle part. Again, the plastic has a little bit of glitter, which is really cool. On this side, we have a unicorn, so gorgeous, and a rainbow with sparkles on it. And all around here, we get some gems that come in different shapes. This reminds me of Jewel Riders. Who remembers that show? And on this side, we get more of a space theme. We have some constellations, a spaceship, this little guy that looks like the Reddit alien, shooting stars, planets. And all around here, we get some planets orbiting. Here is compact number one and compact number two. On this side, it looks like we're in a beautiful fantasy land. We are high above the clouds. We can see some beautiful clouds over here, some constellation graphics here, and up here we get a beautiful pink castle. This kind of reminds me of the Trendmaster Star Castles, which I have started collecting. I love the details here, how we can still see some planet space themes, but also some fantasy princess themes. This door has a constellation of a pegasus on it. This is actually a pegasus, not a unicorn. My mistake. And when we open this, we can see the inside of the castle. 
which has a couple unicorns in it. Also, very beautiful graphics in the background. I love the textures on this as well. We also get this rainbow bridge that goes across the compacts. And this side is full of space adventures. Here we have a pink rocket ship that rotates. It's like we're flying through space. This kind of looks like those space simulators where astronauts can train. And in the background, we see some nice graphics of planets and stars. And up here, we get this super awesome spaceship. I love the use of green here. I think it looks very alien-esque. And when we open it, we can see the control panel. And we are traveling through space. And all around here are beautiful clouds with stars. Space travel would be so cool. I wish I could experience it in my lifetime. I definitely love this compact more than the disco ball one because it has fantastical elements to it. I'm in a Pegasus dreamlike utopia and I'm also in space. Weird combination, but I love it. Here is Polly. She finally makes an appearance. I love her shiny shorts and shoes. And we also get what seems to be our very first alien-human hybrid character. I love her so much. I love the blue skin tone. She reminds me a lot of the Shopkins characters because their skin is also inhuman. And I love her hair as well. She is just so adorable and she's already my favorite. And we get a little alien friend, which I have said time and time again, looks like the Reddit alien. And now to see our surprises. Here are the surprises. We have a beautiful unicorn figure. I love her so much. I just love getting animal figures. We have a swinging moon chair and it has a cute little face on it. We also get a telescope, which is fitting because we're in space. This gorgeous crystal throne, which looks so beautiful. It kind of looks like it's made of candy. We also get this crystal vanity, also looking like it's made of candy. And a couple more crystals for decoration. These really do look like they're made of candy. I kind of want to put them in my mouth right now. A couple shooting stars, again, for decoration. And more decorations. We have a lot of decorating to do in this compact. Here's a planet, a star, and a moon. Here is a dress for the characters, a princess crown, and a crescent moon wand, which reminds me of the Sailor Moon wand. Here are all the accessories attached to the compact. I definitely love the accessories here a lot more than in the disco ball one. I just love these crystal pieces. They look so pretty. The shooting star decoration looks so cute. And we get some really awesome space accessories here too. Those were the double play compacts. I really love these. I love the concept. I love the little surprises. And I love how they open up into two compacts. I think these are some of the more creative toys out in the market. And I love how Mattel continues to experiment and improve their compacts. Thank you for watching this Polly Pocket Showcase, and I'll see you on the next one.